Hey everyone, John Gonzalez, the Going Gonzo Show with my buddy Amy Sherman. Amy, how you doing? Doing great. Seems like uh, old hat. We keep uh, I know. running into each other in the studio. <laughs> with beers. With beers. <laughs> uh, but this time we have another friend with us. I ben know. Darcy. How you ben doing, Ben? is here. The Woo-hoo! Michigan Beer Dude. Michigan we are beer so dude. lucky to have him. Birthday boy. <laughs> oh, thank you, guys. Wow. It's so awesome to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, well, we appreciate you being here. And uh, we got to hang out a little bit at the Summer Beer Festival uh, at uh, John Ball Park uh, last week. And that was fun. Yeah, it was great. I was born for Vivant. There was a bunch of beer there. It was awesome. I got to wander around and have a bunch of great beer. It was awesome. Beautiful weather, too. Good yeah. crowd. A lot of people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. It seems like that festival gets better every year. Mm-hmm. Good. I enjoy it a lot. It's I was, very comfortable. I was Good. impressed with the beer list and the, the, the amount of brewers they had there. I think it was something like 49 or yeah. 50. Yeah. yeah oh, that is really awesome. That's yeah, great. Majority was you know Michigan beer, but there were some mm-hmm. others there as well. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm a, I don't know. I know this is you know Michigan Craft Beer Month, right? The month of July, uh, and it's hard for me to break out and try different things. But it is okay to try beers from other states. It is okay, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 I saw someone not too long ago wearing a Wisconsin beer shirt, and I was like, ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they can't compare, but at yeah. least it wasn't like Mitten Wisconsin beer. <laughs> and the, well, there was a map. It had it had the map with the fake hand. Yeah. I don't know. I, was just, I, don't know. I, meant, I don't know go up and punch him, but I knew that wasn't going to be the right thing to do. Inappropriate, Jack. I know. It's, it's, just, it's not me either, you know? But it came out. It does. Well, something that would be very appropriate is to uh, to let our listeners know about Ben's really cool upcoming schedule of classes that I am signed up for. Well, uh, yeah, and, and, this, and we should let listeners know. And here, here's the thing is that we, as we as a state and as a community, learn more and more about beer and the role that it plays in we become more educated. It's funny, isn't it? Because just a few years ago, Ben, you probably remember this, and I know, Amy, you do, going back to the Bell's Oberon days. You mean Soul Sun? Exactly. <laughs> the education just wasn't out there. Now, if you happen to be even at the most casual bar where they have four or five Michigan beers on tap, people know a little bit about what they're talking yeah. about. And that's what you do with your classes. You, Your goal is to get the knowledge out there, right? Absolutely. That is the primary goal is to just uh, help people understand what makes beer so special and it's geared specifically towards helping people learn how to talk about beer yeah. uh, which is something that a lot of people don't really focus on or if they do they focus on it very minorly and right. quickly <laughs> but uh, I sort of give it the time that it really deserves. You certainly do give it the time because these classes, this is not, I mean you can just sign up for one class if you want but you actually are offering an entire series of beer classes right. how many weeks is this going, how many weeks did I sign up for? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure off the top of my head actually. Eight, it's about eight weeks uh, I it's think It's nine weeks. Nine weeks, yeah, okay. It's originally started is 10 and I trimmed it down to 9 with a couple field trips and special focuses going on. Um, So it's really designed to be an all-encompassing beer tasting class because everybody tries to squeeze it into this tiny little one hour event once a month and it just needs so much more time. Um, So every class is two and a half hours with a break. It involves a lecture and a panel discussion with West Michigan professional brewers and home brewers. And then the second half of the class is a world-class tasting against the BJCP, which is uh, the Beer Judges Certification Program guidelines for that style. Um, So not only do we learn how to talk about beer, but we learn how to taste them and judge them as a group. I love that idea. And I think one of the things that most appeals to me about these classes is it doesn't matter how much you think you know about beer, you can always learn something else. Mm -hmm. But even if you came in as a complete and utter novice, you're going to feel comfortable in this setting and no one's going to make fun of you and you can come in and learn as much as as much as you want about beer at it's held at Harmony. So it's Mm -hmm. a great casual place. You are an awesome teacher. You're so enthusiastic. Oh, you. <laughs> this well, is the you, Ben you Darcy are. feel good show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I but you really are. Your enthusiasm just comes out and you make it so um, acceptable for people to ask questions mm-hmm. and to, you know, well, why does it taste like banana or whatever it might be? Mm-hmm. And I think that that is a really great thing about those classes. Thank you. I, f- I find it's really easy in, in beer education to talk down to people mm-hmm. um, as an educator. And for me, it's really important to get us all on that same level, that same playing field. And like you said, that comfortable environment is really what it's all about. Because when you're in a comfortable environment where you don't feel judged or you aren't afraid of uh, expressing what you're really tasting or experiencing, you retain so much more and you learn so much more in a comfortable environment, a non-judgmental environment, um, and that's absolutely key for me. Exactly. Well, well Ben, I want to run down, of course, the uh, classes and how you broke them down, but before, you, before we do that, and those that are listening right now, stick around for that, because it's interesting to hear how you decided what to do, when, and in what order, mm-hmm. um, but uh, what is the most common question you get from the novice, from the newcomer, and it probably is the question I get, I only drink Bud Light, or what's the closest to Budweiser that I can get here? 
Yeah. Right? I mean, that's what I get all the time. Mm-hmm. Where I get my friends. I only drink wine. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Help me, but no. And that's okay. Yeah. What, are, what are some of the common questions you get though? Um, I get, uh, what's your favorite beer a lot? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, do you answer the one in your glass? Yeah. Uh, I, I never know how to answer Which that Which is a half a wise that's enough the, right now at the moment. That's the correct yeah. answer, is the one it's, in your glass. <laughs> exactly. And the next one, and the yeah. next mm-hmm. one. Uh, special emphasis if it's Michigan. Um, I get a lot of questions, uh, like, uh, how do macro beers win medals? I get asked that a lot. That's interesting, yeah. Um, and that's actually one of the minor topics I focus on in week three, the art of lagering the American standard, is is why macro beers are that way. And that's one of the most common things I get asked. And real quick, micro and macro, the difference, just so people, in case they're really novices, don't know. Totally. Um, macro beer is referring to the major beer producers in the United States. The, the behemoths. Ones that are making massive amounts of beer. Um, so we're talking Anheuser-Busch, Coors, Miller, etc. Yeah. Massive producers of beer. Uh, micro is referring to smaller craft breweries that fall under a production cap. Um, I can't remember it off the top of my head. I think it's six million barrel. Six. It's it's Sam Adams because there's a big controversy mm. yeah. right now. <laughs> Sam yeah. Adams is the cap. Yeah, of one is the, and they've right. moved the cap because I believe it was originally three million, and then mm. they moved it for Sam to so six they could million. I think still stay a craft mm-hmm. brewery. Right. Um, and then Nano um, is somebody who produces on an extremely small system. Yeah, um, like a home brewer. Like a Harmony. Right, or... like a Harmony. Um, bad Brewing Company in Mason. You know, they Ooh, I like that brewery. Our brewing company, they started on a one. So a very tiny, small operations are considered nano. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's the big question that I get a lot sure. is how do these guys win medals? Um, because people are generally baffled because macro beer is considered so blah by yeah. craft lovers. So how can they win medals? And the answer to that is that they make extremely stylistically accurate beer. Yeah. They make an amazing American Pilsner, and that's mm-hmm. what they do. Well, right. it's funny. You go, a lot of the brewers, they love their PBR, right? Yep. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> it's, a, it's, just, it's, it's a funny thing. All right, let's run down these classes. I know the first one uh, is August 4th. Uh, I saw there are actually a couple spots, not many left. Uh, but let's start out with uh, just run down the, the categories and, and, uh, and when you run, have them. Five categories? No, we have five minutes. Five minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Um, so the first two, so the beers, this class is designed for everyone, people that have been home brewers, people that don't know anything about beer, people that like beer. Um, so the first two weeks are really sort of setting the tracks for the rest of the class. Um, so the first week we're focusing specifically on the ingredients of beer, water, malt, hops, and yeast. Um, and I'm welcoming a lot of actual Michigan producers in those fields. So I'm going to be having a Car Creek Hops, Pilot Malt House, and uh, Craft Culture Yeast Labs from up north, uh, all Michigan. Michigan producers here to talk about that. Very Week cool. two is just the brewing process, an entire two and a half hour class just on how beer is made. Right. Um, there's an intense focus on brewing in this class just so that people can understand where these flavors come from that we're examining. Um, week three is lager and pale ale. We're getting into the style classes now, actually, with the tastings. Um, so lager and pale ale, and then we focus on the art of lagering and the American standard. Week four is IPA and double IPA with a focus on hops and brewing with them. Uh, week five is a field trip to Brie Vivant for Belgian ales with a focus on fermentation and Belgian yeast strains. Uh, then week six, we come back to beer with brown porter and stout, focusing on designing a malt bill. And then week seven, we take a break for adventuring through Michigan cider and mead, which yeah. is really <laughs> exciting. Um, I included Mead for the first time this year, uh, which is really exciting. And so uh, we have Jim Robinette from Robinette Cider, Jason Lumen from People Cider Company. We have okay. Vandermill uh, coming in for that. It's going to be a really exciting time. Week eight, we focus on extreme beers, high gravity brewing, barrel aging, maturation. Um, and then week nine, we round it all off with infection and off flavor, which is something that a lot of classes don't give any time to at all. Right. Um, and really, it's the most important topic because when it comes down to it, if you're going to pay $5 for a pint of beer, you should get a good beer. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no question. So, and if you don't know what's bad, you won't know what's good, really. Right. Exactly. And I think that's that if, if we get a bad beer and you're new to it, you kind of go like, I don't like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it kind of gives you a bad experience. Mm-hmm. Right. Overall. And then, yeah, exactly. You want to know why it's bad. Exactly. Now, now, is there a round table or is there another event too? Yes. Um, so that is uh, tentatively scheduled for September 17th okay. at the Pyramid Scheme. Um, for updates on all of my beer events, you can feel free to join me on Facebook. I have a group called Experience Beer West Michigan, the Grand Rapids Beer Tasting Class. Um, and all of the final details will be coming out shortly. So what I'm doing for the very first time, uh, we've never seen anything like this in Michigan before. I'm assembling a public panel of Grand Rapids professional brewers. Love it. For a public 
public panel. Um, I think my count right now is 13 and growing. So we're yeah. going to get a bunch of brewers on stage. Um, we're going to talk about beer. We're going to talk about brewing. We're talking about beer city culture, our West Love Michigan it. beer culture. Um, and we're going to just have a bunch of beers and we're going to take live questions from the audience. Um, and it's just going to be an amazing time. That's called Beer City Roundtable. It's going to be at Pyramid Scheme with more information to follow. Wow. Good. Well, all of your information I know is on your um, Facebook page. Can you give it to us one more time? Yes, uh, so the Facebook page for all of my classes and such is called Experience Beer WM, West Michigan, and then in parentheses, the Grand Rapids Beer Tasting Class. And the classes are $10 a piece. You get to pay at the door, yes. but you do need to pre-register now online. Yes. And you can get the link off of that page, right? Correct. The link is available on the page, um, but if you go to Eventbrite and make sure you specifically search for Grand Rapids and search for XPB, Experience Beer, Grand Rapids Beer Tasting Class. Um, so it's XPB, G-R-B-T-C. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, we need to we need to fix that. <laughs> rewind, <laughs> rewind the podcast to get that full address. Yes. Uh, and the ten bucks covers your amazing class, all the information, and a pint of beer at the door, right? Absolutely. <laughs> and three dollars for additional uh, additional pints, right? Correct. <laughs> um, <laughs> so it's time a print. great time, and that's one of the other things I'm focusing on is I want the class to be accessible. I don't yeah. want anybody to be able to say, oh, I can't afford to go to beer class this exactly. week. Exactly. Um, but there is that pre-registration, and that's going on Eventbrite right now, and the class is nearly sold out, so mm -hmm. make sure you hop online and check it out via the Experience Beer <laughs> Facebook page <laughs> to get that link. Ben Darcy, thanks so much for joining today's Going Gonzo Show. Amy Sherman, I'm glad you're going to be there because I'm going to be at several of the classes. I'm so excited to can't go. Wait. I can't wait. You can, you can always learn something new about you beer. You sure can. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. And, and Amy, as you always say, what uh, one pint at a time? What's your, what's your line? As I taste my way across the USA, one pint at a time. Love it. Take care, everyone. <laughs>